I'll take you for a cup. I'm a rancher most of the time. I just couldn't fathom them doing a show after me. I thought it might be a local thing. But Dennis Quaid's name was a big name, and uh, uh, I liked him, respected him for his acting ability. And then he got to know me. That's right. <laughs> and then it all went away. No! What are you? That was rude. Really Tell you the truth, I was one of the few people who didn't know about Sheriff Ralph Lamb, that he'd been the sheriff of Las Vegas from like 60 to 80, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. And, uh, you know, playing a real life character in that, that, that time of time period in Las Vegas is fascinating because that was the, the real building of Las Vegas back then. And he wielded uh, considerable power by personality and by election, I guess. It's really seemed an interesting story to do. I'm not a cop. You were back in the war an MP and a damn good one. I really didn't know what Dennis would really look like in person. And when I came through the door, this fellow was walking towards me. He said, Ralph, I'm Dennis Quaid, like we'd known each other forever. We talked about everything. Well, we, we did find out that we have the same birthday. Yeah. And we wear the, have the, the same shoe size. Right. We had a couple of things going for us to begin with. So I get all his boots now. I already told you, little brother, you're coming with me. If you're good with numbers, you're better with people than I am. Well, you know, I, I started uh, as a deputy sheriff in 1947, people just forget that they think the only time I was there was from 1960 to 80. But I'd been there a long time before that and had been working on these hoods and watching them and keeping records on them. And when I got to be sheriff, I just got my own crew there together and we continued right on doing what we'd been doing before. Unless you have a search warrant, I suggest you and your boys get the hell out of my casino. You're trespassing. I'm the law here, Mr. Savino. And I will decide who's breaking it. I went to, to Las Vegas, New Mexico to watch a little of filming of this thing. And I thought he was just great. He can ride. And uh, I thought he was a little reckless coming down the oil street running a horse as hard as he could go. And he jumped off and whipped a pilot or two. And uh, I said, he's going to be all right, this guy. He can do it all. Uh, bigger than life. And bigger than my life, that's for sure. You know, um, He's a real deal. And uh, without even trying, lived through an incredible time and, uh, yeah, you know, and was an incredible part of uh, American history. You about done? 